I spend my days walking through here counting trees, counting large trees, and then looking for trees that are very large, in excess of 30 inches in diameter, that might have the necessary characteristics that would accommodate a very large bird with a five foot wingspan to get down into it, lay her eggs, protect her eggs, incubate her eggs, feed her babies, and then allow the babies to get out. During the breeding season, the, the crew is out working on my behalf, trying to be observant if they should see a turkey vulture either hanging out on a tree or actually exiting a, a cavity. These birds are so secretive, they give no outward appearance that they have a nest. Uh, even when young are in the nest, the, uh, the adults show no aggressive behavior. What I'm doing and what we're doing here on this field station is new to science. It's just one of those species that through benign neglect we just assume is always going to be here because we see it all the time. So they're obvious, but just how common are they and how reliant are they on certain aspects of the oak woodland? A functioning forest is a forest that is exposed over time to the ravages of nature. We need to recognize that trees on their way out, it may take them a hundred years to die, but that doesn't mean they're not being exploited in over that hundred years for a whole host of organisms that only a tree that has been exposed to the ravages of nature can provide. You know, every time I'm out here, I'm reminded of uh, where in the world we live. California oak woodlands uh, are unique in that they are found in a Mediterranean climate. It's only found in five other parts of the world. It always makes me take notice and simply appreciate how fortunate I am to be able to live and work in a forest type that very few people have access to.